All right. <clears throat> Last one. Let's look at this one. It's uh, <coughs> not in your notes. It's titled Glass Board uh, Relative Acceleration uh, Method. Um, so let's look at this one. <clears throat> So, for an interval of its motion, the, the piston rod of the hydraulic cylinder has a velocity of 48 inches per second and an acceleration of 36 inches per second squared. Uh, so this is just a hydraulic piston. This is just moving perfectly out, perfectly linearly right out here um, at point A. All right. So at this instant shown, this causes bar A, B, and this causes bar B, C to have these angular velocities. You could have calculated those, and, and why don't you maybe pause and see if you can do this. Try to calculate those. Uh, so could calculate using relative velocity method or instantaneous center of zero velocity method. And double check me on that. Make sure I've got those correct. <coughs> Okay, but this problem, I want us to look at the accelerations. Let's find the angular acceleration of bar A, B, angular acceleration of bar B, C. So, my main bar, which one's my main bar? Which one's the bar that I want to do my relative velocity, the relative, sorry, acceleration method on uh, bar A, B? And so I would do something like maybe A, B equals A, A plus A, B slash A and write this term as alpha cross r minus omega squared times r. This is r b slash a, b a, b slash a, b a, right here. All right, so there's our problem. Then I say, okay, uh, do I know anything about point B? Do I know anything about point A? Let's start with point A. Oh, I know it. <clears throat> I know it is linear. And it is just 36. Let me be careful because it's like negative 36 in the I. <coughs> All right, so I got that one. Do I know the acceleration of point B? Not exactly. Do I know anything about it? I know point B is in a normal tangential path. Uh, not due to bar AB, but due to bar BC, I know that it has some well, let, well, let's see what, what, how I'm going to guess at this. I'm, I'm guessing it has some alpha BC, which is actually one of the things I'm looking for. So uh, I'm guessing it has some A tangential. Uh -oh. Sorry. Uh -oh. What did I do here? <clears throat> and erase everything. Let me, let me just keep going. All right, so I know that point B has some A tangential and A normal, right? So I said A B equals A A plus A B slash A. Rewrite this as alpha cross R minus omega squared times R. A is just linear, but B is normal tangential. <clears throat> so let me think about this normal <clears throat> and this tangential acceleration of... <clears throat> point B. So, kind of a side note, side note, by looking at bar BC, not my main bar, but bar BC, um, what is AB normal and what is AB tangential? All right, AB normal is R omega, which was this 3.13 so it, it has 3.13 an omega of 3.13 an alpha of i don't know all right so <clears throat> this is r omega squared uh, so this is 97.97 uh but what direction uh into that curve uh let's look at that 70 degrees um forget about that 50 degrees for a minute because um, that's kind of more concerned with bar uh, A, B. <clears throat> but this link, let me get the direction right here. This link is 70 degrees from horizontal, and A normal is in that direction of that link. Uh, it is 70 degrees from horizontal. Um, so this would be, let's see, cosine 70 <clears throat> would be the I component, and... 
sine 70 would be the J component. <clears throat> it would be positive I into the curve, <coughs> positive I and negative J. Let me write numbers for those. I like to have numbers. Ne negative, sorry, where are we here? This is positive, right? This is positive. Double check me on these numbers here. Um, positive, 33.5 in the I, minus 92.06 in the J. So that right there is just the normal component of acceleration of B. How about tangential for B? Uh, well, that would be R alpha BC. And I don't know alpha BC. That's one of my unknowns. But let me do as much as I can. Can I write that in the I? Can I write that in the J? Or maybe can I write that in a little bit of both? Right? This tangential, if this link is 70 degrees from horizontal, this tangential would be 70 degrees from vertical. <clears throat> so 10 uh, sine 70 in the I, 10 alpha cosine 70 in the J, positive or negative? Well, it's going to the left and it's going down. It's going to the left and it's going down. And so I might get multiplied by 10 times the sine 70, but I still have an unknown and that's okay. <clears throat> and so these four things right here uh, are what I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna plug in over there for the acceleration of B. Okay. So are we ready uh, right here? Are we ready? <clears throat> okay, double check my numbers here because I think I have a typo because this should be positive 33.5, correct? The normal acceleration is into the curve. That should definitely be a positive 33.5. So I need to have, all right, so coming up here, a, B equals A, A plus A, B slash A. A positive 33.5 in the I minus 92.06 in the J uh, minus 10 alpha sine 70 in the I and minus 10 alpha <coughs> cosine 70 in the J. So that those four terms were all just that one little term up there. Equals acceleration of A, <coughs> negative 36. Uh, I should be careful with the units. Is everything in inches, 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 10 inches, 20 inches? Uh, yeah. All right. So negative 36 in the I plus. So now <clears throat> alpha cross R. Alpha. So this is the alpha of the main bar AB. I don't know it, but I know it's in the K direction. And don't get that crossed with or confused with alpha of bar CB. <clears throat> All right. So cross that with R B slash A. B slash A. I should have kind of come back here and uh, we looked at this. R from A to B. From A to B. So this would be 20 inches at a 60. Uh, so this would be the, those vectors right there. So 20, 20 cosine 60. 20 sine 60, so this would be <clears throat> 20 cosine 60 in the I, 20 sine 60 in the J, minus omega squared, omega, let me not make sure I get the correct omega. Uh, this omega right in here is the omega inside the B slash A, and so this is the omega for BA, or AB, right, 1.07. I uh, really didn't matter clockwise or counterclockwise because I'm squaring it. Times 20 cosine 60 I 20 sine 60 J. There we go. There's my equation. If you can get there correctly, I will be happy, right? The rest of it is just math, which you do need to be able to do and be able to do it correctly. So are we ready to do the math? <clears throat> are we ready to do the math? All right. My I equation <clears throat> would be what's in front of the I on left hand side 33.5, negative 10 alpha CB sine 70. All right, and then what's in front of the I on the right hand side, negative 36. Okay, and this is, I'm, I want to test you on this to see if you can do this and do this 
Crosswork correctly. All right. What, what term is going to end up in the I? That one, right? 20 sine 60 alpha AB. And K cross J is actually negative I. All right. Now, which one of these terms, if any, is going to end up in the I? Well, the one that was already in the I. Uh, so negative uh, negative 1.07 squared times 20 cosine 60. I just have a number, 11.45. And then check me, double check me on this. That equation has two unknowns. That equation has two unknowns. So let me look at my J equation. <clears throat> What's in front of the J? Negative 92.06, uh, 10 alpha cosine 70. Uh, and then, let's see, that's in the I. What is going to end up in the J? This one, the 20 cosine 60 alpha AB. And positive, would that be positive? K cross I, yeah, positive J. And then this one right here, uh, 1.07 squared times 20 sine 60. Uh, I have... Um, 19.83, 19.83, and there, two equations, two unknowns, uh, and it uh, doesn't look like there's a 45 degree angle shortcut, doesn't look like there's one equation, one unknown, you just have to solve, write one in terms of the other, plug it in uh, to the next one, you know, write alpha CB is something, 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 alpha AB plus something, uh, plug that back in up here, solve for alpha, sorry, sorry, plug that back in for alpha CB, solve for alpha CB and, <clears throat> and alpha AB. All right, don't trust my numbers. I, I, look like, I think I have a typo in here in the solution that I'm following. 11 point, but this is what I've got, 11.13 radians per second squared, uh, and that actually came out negative. That actually came out negative. I guess that it was uh, here. Let's see, what did I guess? I guess, do you see here? Because of, I guess this A tangential was down and to the left, I was guessing uh, counterclockwise. It came out negative. Uh, so it was actually clockwise. Uh, then I, I would plug in negative, you know, 13 point, uh, a negative 11.13 right here. Um, <clears throat> to solve for alpha of AB. I've got alpha of AB, if you trust this, 6.84 radians per second squared. It also came out negative. Uh, and here, this one, I guessed it right here. I guessed it right there. It was positive K. It came out negative, so it was negative K. Uh, so I've got the, both of those are actually clockwise. So d don't, don't, don't put too much stock into these final answers. Let's look at the process. Let's look at the process. Uh, I was lucky that, that, that they gave me this information. If they didn't give me the information, I, I would have needed to get it using the relative velocity or the instantaneous center. Uh, but since I had it, I could go ahead and start with my acceleration. AB equals a, a plus AB slash A. Immediately write AB slash A is alpha cross R minus omega squared times R. Hopefully I have, to, I have pound this into, I'm beating a dead horse here. All right? You can, you can do this. Then I made a note. Hey, point A, linear. Awesome. Point B, not so lucky, it's normal tangential. So I came to the side looking at bar BC, found the normal in I and J, found the tangential in I and J, and I plugged all four of those terms in right here for AB equals AA plus these alpha cross R minus omega squared times R. I made sure that I did those cross products correctly. So this, you know, that one would show up, K cross I would show up in my J equation. This one right here would show up K cross J in my I equation. But then this one right here was in the I. It's still in the I. It's just multiplication. This one right here was in the J. still in the J. Multiplication. Two equations, two unknowns. Uh, so, we, so we can solve for both of those. All right?